Hi everyone, uh, my name is Daniel Fekete. I'm here from uh, Shoprons. We represent our association called the Iron Building Association. And I would like to talk about uh, road safety awareness programs, uh, especially uh, made towards uh, younger people. So, first and foremost, I have to tell a story how our association got its name. Uh, in 2008, uh, while I was at work, I received a phone call from a very good friend of mine and uh, she told me that, that uh, one of my childhood friends uh, passed away. Uh, he was in a fatal uh, traffic accident. He was uh, actually uh, walking uh, on a crosswalk when a careless driver uh, just didn't see him and, and, uh, and hit him. and. Uh, his uh, injuries uh, was so uh, severe that he didn't make it. So uh, yes, and uh, he was going to work, and and you know, one moment he was still alive, and and the next he was he was not with us anymore. So uh, his friends and uh, his family, uh, we we got together and. Uh, we started talking that uh, we wanted to do something about uh, what's happening and what happened and uh, we wanted to uh, shape and uh, you know just just do something about the culture and the, the, the morale of, of the traffic safety uh, and the traffic culture so uh, we are uh, more uh, mostly uh, working with younger people and young drivers is our, our target group uh, and there are some very frightening uh, statistics about young drivers actually 23% of fatal accidents are caused by uh, young drivers aged 17 to 24 and it's four times more likely for a teenager to be in a fatal accident than it is uh, for somebody aged 26 or older and we, we do actually believe that uh, this is preventable. We can do something about it. We can uh, show them ways uh, that uh, will maybe open their eyes that they are driving with a... Um, actually, uh, driving a car is... is, is, is uh, for young people are more, more uh, about enjoyment and uh, and what they like to do and it's fun and it's a good thing to do but uh, you know it's also very very dangerous and and many uh, young drivers aren't really uh, they don't really know about the dangers of driving uh, so we talk about World Festival it's also hosted in Chopron it's it was nominated and also won the best Central European Festival in 2015 uh, actually, it's uh, it had uh, twenty-three thousand uh, one hundred twenty-three thousand guests in uh, two thousand fifteen, and uh, it's it's uh, mostly teenagers and young adults uh, who go there, and it's actually our main target group who goes there. So we have a very good uh, working relationship with the. Uh, people at the World Festival and uh, also other festivals and venues and uh, uh, we've been at the World Festival since 2009 so this will be, as I said earlier, this will be our seventh year uh, this year and uh, we are trying to do uh, different programs to raise awareness for our traffic safety, so, uh, road safety. So our uh, first thing that we thought we need to do is uh, is talk about the teaching the how we teach young people about uh, driving and uh, we all know that the, the uh, teenagers have a very short attention span they literally uh, 10 minutes is, is almost the most time that you can get uh, their attention for anything after, even even adults have an attention span for about 20 minutes and, and they will get tired and, and probably forget many of the things that you want to tell them. And uh, 
we think that we need uh, additional techniques uh, besides the traditional teaching techniques. Teaching uh, by uh, teaching them about the traffic or road rules and teaching them to drive is, is, is very extremely important, but we think that we have to teach them uh, other things uh, and uh, teach them with experiments. If you if you remember your maybe your high school years, uh, the, the the stuff you remember was maybe physics or, or chemistry class when you when you did experiments and and uh, show uh, so how the teacher uh, did some different stuff and, and you remember remember most of that, but you probably don't remember every equation or anything that you learned uh, back in in high school. But I mean everything. So we are currently and constantly uh, working on uh, new games. New games that uh, are, are about uh, traffic safety or road safety or driving or uh, visibility impairment or, or anything like that. And we want to, to, want to make it more intriguing so that we can get their attention span of like five minutes that when they visit us to, to learn maybe something and uh, one of the first thing that we did was uh, build an accident simulator. It's uh, actually a, a driving seat, a car seat with a seat belt, and it goes up on a ramp. And uh, we tell every participant about. Uh, so we do a quick health check that they don't have any broken bones or anything like that, and uh, we tell them about what will happen to them and after that they will uh, slide down this track on this ramp and crash at about 12-15 km per hour. Uh, actually seatbelts can reduce uh, injuries uh, in 50% in of the time 50% uh, of the time which is actually a lot. So really the first thing we want to we want to teach uh, youngsters that they have to wear their seatbelts. Seatbelt, uh, and many of them don't. Many of them will, you know, don't find it comfortable or don't really think about the, the, the risks and don't really think that, that uh, anything can happen to them uh, in the city maybe. Maybe they will wear it uh, on the on the uh, when they are driving fast on the highways maybe, but but uh, usually they don't wear it in the in the city. But it's uh, this simulator, this accident simulator, actually shows that even a very small crash uh, will have a very strong uh, effect, and and that they will uh, you know a lot of different forces will act on them. And this is how we want to, to show them actually what they will feel if they crash at about 15 km per hour. Uh, and we also wanted to do something a little bit more than just show them. So we did a little game, a uh, second year maybe, or, or maybe the first year, the second day or something like that, that uh, we asked them to hold a cup of water and uh, we told them to will hold it without spilling the water. If they can hold the water in the cup without spilling, we will give them some kind of reward, like a cold beverage or something, you know, how you can get a, a, a teenager in a festival. But, but anyways, so we wanted to ask them to hold uh, a cup of water. And as you can see, it's extremely hard to do. So, uh, why the water? Uh, as I told, it effectively demonstrates the, the, the different forces that act on a, on a person or on the car when in a crash. It's also much harder to do than it looks. So, uh, I say maybe 90% of our visitors uh, and the, the participants who try out this thing, uh, the accident simulator, are usually say that it's, it's, they will do it that it's, it's very easy and, and you know they just go up the ramps and crash and, and they cannot even hold the, the cup in their hands so they will just throw it up as you can see on the picture uh, and it's also 
that the, the participant focuses more on the water than on the crash. So the crash comes a little bit more surprisingly. And uh, we've seen that when somebody doesn't hold the water, uh, they somehow, uh, you know, uh, wait for the crash so they are more aware that there's that something will happen to them while holding the water they are somebody they, their attention are, are, are divided between the water and waiting for the crash so it's it's a it's a more surprising thing to have and also i have to say it's it's, it's very fun to see uh, people throwing out water and uh, we have a usually a very large crowd around us uh, who are just watching people going down the ramps and trying out the simulator. This will bring more people in. We can we can interact with them. We can we can uh, talk with them. We can uh, ask them to to fill out some questionnaires or fill out the tests or try out our other games. So it's something that we really like to do, and it, it's really you know it's it's one of the uh, main attractions uh, when we go to a festival. So we also have uh, so-called impairment goggles. <coughs> these are uh, special. Uh, these goggles have special lenses in them, which uh, distort the vision in a way that, that uh, not only your vision gets distorted, but also your balance, your reaction time, your judgment, and uh, you know. Uh, for the first time we had this, uh, we just asked them to try it out, how they feel in it. And uh, it's actually not, it's, it's, it's a fun, fun, fun thing to do, but we wanted to do it a little bit more into it, also gamify it a little bit more. And uh, so we, we did different games with it, which almost everybody really enjoyed, like uh, running through tracks, which we built with traffic cones around the festival, and they had just set to, uh, you know, run as fast as they could, uh, maybe just beat each other's times if, if two or more people were uh, trying it out. We also had uh, some large puzzles of uh, different uh, you know, traffic signs and they had to put it back together while wearing the goggles. Uh, we asked them to play football while wearing the goggles, but actually just giving each other uh, high fives is, is a very, very hard thing to do. <laughs> That we have two different goggles. These are the, the, the puzzles that the two guys are trying to, uh, you know, solve. And uh, also a very important thing uh, are the tests and the questionnaires. So we bring a different tests and questionnaires to every festival or, or everywhere we where we attend to. Uh, the tests are usually contain the test contains usually uh, a little bit harder questions, more about the, the fine print regulations, and it's uh, you know it's not that uh, everybody has to solve it uh, perfectly. It's more about uh, how uh, there are some different uh, regulations that maybe not everybody knows about. So we are prepared with it, and we always help with the wrong answers, why they were wrong, and which is the right answer, and why is it the right answer. And uh, it's actually very, uh, you know, when somebody goes to a festival, people will think that they don't really want to fill out tests uh, about road regulations, but actually are, are, are uh, what we found out is, is that it's, it's totally different. So uh, usually afternoon uh, or, or early in the evening, everybody is going around these uh, places uh, and they are filling out questionnaires like, like it's the best thing to do at the festival, <laughs> really. And also questionnaires, uh, there are about uh, 16 questions directed, at, directed uh, towards the attitude of the drivers uh, about safety. And uh, the main goal of this uh, questionnaires is research. And uh, actually thousands of people uh, fill out these questionnaires and these uh, tests. So what we ask is, is really the habits of the young drivers. Uh, how many times do they uh, use a mobile phone, a cell phone while driving? Uh, how many times do they uh, wear their seatbelts? Why don't they wear their seatbelts? Do they drive drunk or not? And every, uh, every, every questionnaire is, is, uh, is anonymous. 
so everybody can feel we that really you know we don't really uh, gather personal information with this questionnaires or tests so we're doing this uh, research for more than five years now so we already have time series data how everything is changing uh, and, and, and thankfully it is changing in a good way and it's also representative because we have really uh, many thousands of people who already filled out this questionnaire and, and these tests and, uh, and we can really say that, that in the target group we are uh, in this uh, young driver or, or, uh, or maybe a little bit unexperienced drivers uh, group uh, we have a really uh, good uh, representative data about all of this. So you can see uh, beautiful girls testing, uh, filling out the tests and the questionnaires. Yeah, and also you know you have to give some gifts or goodies when 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 you're doing something so they have uh, something reward. Uh, the first thing that we did was uh, this. Uh, Response that you can see on the picture. Uh, actually, when we first started the, the whole association, uh, this was our first uh, thing that we did. That we had uh, many thousands of these wristbands. Uh, these are highly reflective and uh, very vibrant colored uh, wristbands, and uh, we just gave them out to everybody. Uh, and uh, we we do this every year. We give out tens of thousands of these wristbands and everybody wears them at the festival and it's actually maybe you know uh, maybe it will save a life or something so it's, it's actually a good thing to wear I also give out uh, bike prisms, reflective stickers almost anything that has to do with, with, uh, with uh, road safety or traffic safety <coughs> so uh, as I told, we have been doing this for a lot of, a lot of years now, uh, and we had a lot of reactions. Uh, and these are, I'm, I'm very proud and I'm very happy to say that these are overwhelmingly positive. So everybody really enjoys uh, coming to our place and, and uh, trying out our games and uh, our programs. Uh, actually, many, uh, many, many people will become regulars. We actually have some people in, in our association who have become a member just because they went come, come to our place and, and tried out our games and, and they want to do something also and, and they become a member and, and still a, a member of our uh, association. So many people are, are becoming regulars who visit us every year or every venue we go to. Uh, we also <laughs> had some guys who came in every day, so the World Festival is, is usually four days long and uh, we had uh, three years ago two guys who came in every morning. They said that they don't want any coffee, anything, they just want to go with the, with the simulator and it wakes them up perfectly, so no coffee, simulator, perfect thing. So, and we also hear many stories how our programs changed uh, their behavior maybe. So a lot of people, and I'm really saying that a lot, uh, come to us and share their stories uh, from last year, how they started wearing seat belts and how they are more, uh, you know, more likely to be more aware of their car or their surrounding while driving. So actually, it's it's a uh, it's one of the. This is why we do it. This, these are the stories that, that keep us really going. So this is what we really want to hear. That, uh, uh, that we are actually, maybe, maybe there is a guy who, who, who started wearing seatbelts because of us. And, uh, and, uh, and actually it's, uh, it's one of the best things to hear that we have maybe uh, saved someone. So actually this is our little association at the World Festival and I'm, thank you so much for the opportunity today to, uh, I was able to be here and I'm ready to answer any questions you have. <laughs>